Freshwater fishing, see if I get anything using red uh, wigglers and uh, see if we get some uh, brim out of here or something. Just play around with freshwater edition. Cool, just a slip float and a number two Aberdeen hook with a red wiggler. Old school. For action, got a little action here. There you go. A little action there, nice little brim right there, a little small thing. Boy, it bring back memories. Oh man, I need a big one. Catch these little aquarium fish. These little aquarium fish. Still fun though. Better than being in the house. I need to get some fresh air. Kids, a kid fishing. This is a good spot. Uh, Kings Ferry. Down on uh, 17. Just come here. Get you some red wigglers. Make sure you check them. Make sure they're not dead at Walmart. And get you a line. Cheap rod. Some string. Bring your kid out here. They'll definitely catch something. So look at that. Had a bite and missed them. Got to get my groove back. I lost my freshwater skills. This may be the biggest one so far. Yes, it is. Got a little weight to it. Like something ate his tail off. Must have been a turtle. Catching these small ones. Nice aquarium fish. Got a runner. Got a runner. Might be the same one. <laughs> Still fun to catch. Uh, uh, today, I'm going to check out a uh, owl bungard conservation area this is what it looks like when you turn in then you go down that road right there well, it's open from 8 to 5 p.m. so you, uh, dogs can uh, come here they got to be on a leash when you uh, go in the park so if you want to bring a dog here and walk around or jog this is a good place to do it or bring the kids here to fish got two ponds back here got bass in it I know that for a fact and a uh, brim so this is the area then I'm riding on the dirt road now. I got like two lakes in it. And we're gonna go ahead and try for some brim. I got some worms from Walmart. So this is the area right here that we're driving in on the dirt roads. I'm just gonna start off at my normal spot and uh, work my way around from there. Go with this, it's a log right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and park right here and go and fish it get in the shade and this is why I used to catch crappies at right here there's a lake over there so let's get out there and see what we can do uh, set up I'm using the same rod I'm using for uh, sheep's head basically Shakespeare ugly sticks GX2 with a, a cork slip shot and a number two Aberdeen hook and for the bait I'm using these Walmart worms, Wrangler Live 30 Fat Juicy Red Worms. That's the bait I'm going to be using. So we're going to see if we can get on some brim in here. This is, the area. this is one lake. The other lake's over there. But uh, this is a good crappy hole. I may try for some bass while I'm here before they close. I 
knew I kept hearing something. I thought it was a snake. This is what it is right here. A stink. You know, right there. You know, I heard something in the bushes. Yeah, there's two, two lizards over there. A knoll and a stink. The knoll is right down there. And the stink is up there. Like no fish biting on this side, so I'm gonna go to the other side. Now I'm just on the bridge right here, I'm trying to see if I can cast out deep. Got about five feet. Uh oh, got a bite. So I'm just taking it. I think I popped the hole. Got something on there. We got something. Something big. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they are deep. Find the one right there. Off, so I know they're down there now. This is Woody. Again, another freshwater adventure. Um, I'm gonna be trying this apartment complex. Not sure which one, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to fish in here for bass. And I'm also going to be over here fishing. Right over here. Maybe a lot of fishing, but this looks like a nice spot. You can walk back there too. Yep, this is another spot right here. Should be some bass in there. Look promising. Right here. Let's see if we can get in here. I'm gonna do catch and release only today. For brim right here. Get a little like little uh, red worm on there. Throw this out. I just bought this uh dock demon today. Shakespeare Uggs Dick Dock Runner. Easy to carry. that sit out there and for this one this is my bass rod okay, I got a Senko Gary Yokomoto Senko green pumpkin got some bass one this is like really grassy we'll see what we do out here Someone just told me about where the bass and the brim are so Looking out for snakes and walking through this trail back here. I'm a nature type person, so I don't mind going back here. You know, that looks like a good spot right there. Good spot. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be something nice, some big and nice some little guy. Got one. You got a. You got one. Okay. There you go. It's a nice little specimen right there. Not a big one, but it's fun to catch. Got a nice bass. So I'm talking about yes got a nice old bass right here there we go oh y'all let me just take the hook out 
Yeah, look at that baby. Woo! That baby right there. That's what I'm talking about. Release. Time for release. And there she goes. Chocolate chip pancakes. This is what I woke up this morning to him doing. Cooking pancakes. Boy, got up early in the morning. Play with the chicken, son. Hey, what's going on? This is Woody, and uh, I'm here at uh, an Air B&B that was given to me by a good friend of mine. So, um, me and my son are out here on the weekend enjoying the stuff. So, we have a bunch of, uh, got a little pond to it. Nice little cottage we staying in. Turtles here in the pond. Saw some big bluegills. Playing in some big turtles in here. We go turtle right there, and uh, you want to yeah, give the turtles a little bit of food. No, not all of it. Just give them a little bit. My son is going to demonstrate how the turtles eat. Just a little bit, one by one. See, the turtles see the food. See, see, leave food out here for the turtles to eat, and they love it. So we just out here getting away, relaxing, spending some time, having some fun. It's real nice out here. And also, there you go. It's also chickens on the property. Like two hens right here. See? There you go. One and there's another one right there. Nice little hens. Yep. They're domesticated. A little nature hike. Don't go all the way down there, snakes. And got bamboo trees here. Alright, that's enough. I want you going there. Yep, but it's a little bridge here. What's so we're just having a good old time. Bamboo. Yep. I remember I used to have bamboos in my mom's yard. I miss them. Should plant some in the back of my yard. Here, woodpecker up there. Just don't see him. I'm trying to find him. It's, pe it's pecking on one of these bamboos. I don't know, I'm looking. Wow, what a lot of screech stuff. The bluegills in here. They kind of domesticated, they've been hand fed, so. Wow. I need some eggs. Which one of y'all gonna lay me an egg? I need some eggs. Can't come in that house. You gonna lay me some eggs? You gonna lay me some eggs? Why do I have company over here? I can't even relax. All I want is an egg. If you can't give me an egg, you don't need to be here.